All right, let's talk about the negative identities. They're in your text and you can write them down. Um, and this, what I'm going to talk about, this is not a proof, this is an explanation. So let's start with an example. So we have the cosine of pi over 3, and from your unit circle, you can see that that's one half. Okay, and then let's compare that to the cosine of negative pi over 3. And remember, this is just going in the opposite direction. So that down here is the same as 5 pi over 3 on your unit circle. The cosine there is 1 half. So you see how they're the same. Um, so I can surmise that the cosine of an arc is the same as the cosine of the same arc in the negative direction. See how I wrote the negative identity, but I said it a little differently? I said the cosine of an arc right here is the same as the cosine of the same arc in the negative direction, because they're the same. Let's do another example. Let's do sine. So the sine of pi over 3 is square root of 2 over 2. Now let's look at the sine of the negative arc. So negative pi over 3 and that is negative, oh, what did I write? Square root of 2 over 2. That should be negative square root of 3 over 2. I think I said negative square root of 3, but I wrote 2. So let me erase that. Reason my eraser just does not want to work here. There we go. Change back to the pen. And that was three. Okay. Uh, let's let me start from the beginning talking about this. The sine of pi over three is the square root of three over two. The sine of negative pi over three, well if you look at your unit circle, that is negative square root of three over two. Two. So then we can draw the conclusion here that the sine of an arc is equal to the negative, or sometimes we like to say opposite. Opposite meaning, you know, if the sine is positive, the opposite would be negative. If it's negative, the opposite would be positive. So sometimes I like to use the word opposite here. Let's start again. The sine of an arc is equal to the opposite of the sine of the same arc in the negative direction. So that's an explanation of the negative identities, the cosine and the sine. And likewise, you can do the same thing with tangent, secant, cotangent, and cosecant. The explanations are the same. So that's the end of the explanation of the negative identities.